In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the new Sharp Tools improvements. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. Like I said, in this video, we're just gonna go over a few things that Sharp Tools has improved upon. And the first thing is you can actually see what is going on with your rules. So say if you're having trouble with one of your rules running, you don't know why it's not running right. You can go into one of those rules. So let's just go into security, disarmed, welcome home. And then up at the top here, these three dots in the gray box, tap that, you get some more options. So now you can view logs, tap on view logs. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you what's going on here. And let's just change this to the last three hours or so. So you can see this was triggered at 107 and 29 seconds and 1103 and seven seconds. All right, so this is the rule that I have set up. So basically all it is, is when we come home, it's going to disarm the alarm and do a bunch of other things as well. Basically I have it when the mode changes to home. So if any of us come home, our mode changes to home. And then I just put in a condition just in case I need to add something later. And then as long as we are home, it's going to turn off the alarm. It's gonna turn off our Alexa guard. It's going to send our robot vacuum cleaner back to its dock and it's going to send us both a notification to our iPhones, letting us know that, that the alarm has been disarmed and welcome home. And also if it is before sunset, it's gonna go ahead and open up our blinds. So that is the rule here. So when we look at the rule log, we can see that it was just run at 107.29. So right now it's 137 and triggered by location event. So you can see the home mode is changed to home. And then it's going to run through the if condition to make sure the logic is matched. Continue to activity in the then path. So that's what it did. And then it went down, turned off the alarm, turned off our Alexa guard, sent our robot vacuum cleaner home, and then sent us a push notification to our iPhones that the alarm was disarmed. And then also the other if condition is here. And if that's matched, then continue to the then path, sending device command to the virtual blinds to turn them on, which would open the blinds for us. And then it says rule completed. So you can also come over to the right hand side where it says view and you can tap on that for more details and then here it can say sending device command virtual blinds on and it does show you like all of the code and everything like that as well so if you are having any issues with any of your rules you can come in here and you can look at them and see why might it not be working all right so one of the other things i want to show you is right here in the bottom right hand corner they now have a question mark so you can tap on that question mark and then you can get right to important information like rule engine overview introduction how to set up notifications how to trigger sharp tools rules using http and you you can also type in other stuff at the bottom. So if I just type in say variables at the bottom, it pops up here and it says variable introduction and overview. So right here, you can just tap on this and it's gonna open right up here and you can kind of read through this and see what it does and how it works. It's got screenshots and little videos and everything here. So you can kind of see exactly what they're doing and how to use these features. So that is really cool to have all of this built right in. You don't have to go to a separate site. It's all right here for you and it shows you everything that you need to know. You can also rate the question at the bottom did it help you or not? And that helps them know if they need to add a different answer and that will help them provide the best customer service. Now also you have the option to ask right here. So you could tap that. And then right here, you can type in the subject, type in a message, and then go ahead and send the message. Either Josh or James is going to respond to you. And that is really cool. You can also add pictures and emojis. So that is really neat to have right built in here. It makes um, getting help really fast and easy. And also you probably be able to find most of these answers just by typing in some keywords. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you is the new fan options. So I created a dashboard here with my master fan. So if we tap on that, it's going to turn our fan on low. And then if we tap it again, it will go to medium. One more tap goes to high, and then another tap goes to off. 
that's great. It works. The fan turns on and off and all that. But the problem is this is a four speed fan. So it only gives you by default three speeds because most fans are only three speeds. So if we go to the down here, tap on this, tap on edit. Now we can edit this tile. We're gonna go up here, tap on edit. Now we can do customize speeds. So we're gonna tap on that and you can either add fan speeds by yourself or you can use a template. Let's use a template. So here you go. It's going to open up and it's going to have a template here for you. And it's gonna say the value of zero is off. The value of one is low. The value of two is medium. The volume of three is high. And then you have your spinning animation. So you have spin off, spin low, medium, and high. And then you can have an option here to add a fan speed. So we're gonna put the fan speed of four and just put in very high. And we're just going to put high here. And I'm actually gonna change this high animation to be medium high. So that's a little bit faster than this one here and a little bit slower than this one here. And then all we have to do is tap on done. Also, if you wanted to remove one of these, you can just tap on the trash can on the right hand side. So we're just gonna tap done here and go ahead and tap save and then save our dashboard. Okay, so now that we have our fan set up with the new speeds, we're gonna take a look and see how that works. So here I have my remote. So you can see right here, we have four different speeds for the fan. So if I just tap on this once, it's going to turn it on to the highest setting. So you got four lights that were illuminated there. And then the fan is going to be on super high. And then you can see it says very high. And that is what we had set up. Very high is the fourth setting here. Now if I tap on my remote again, now we get three dots and now we're just on high and then if we tap it again we get two dots now we're on medium and if we tap one more time we have one dot on the remote which is low in sharp tools and tap one more time and now it is completely off so you can see how that works um, just using the remote the the dashboard um, automatically updates to the correct status all four speeds that are on your remote here so that's all i wanted to show you here in this video as you can see sharp tools is always getting better they're always adding new features new functionality it's going to continue for a long time into the future so if you're not using sharp tools yet definitely sign up for a free account and i hope you found that video helpful if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section I read and respond to every single comment that I get. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.